Welcome to my channel. This is JC Rock and Metal Reviews. My name is John and I have a new album review for you by the band Mordred. The album is called The Dark Parade. But before I begin, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. I do rock and metal reviews, uh, rankings and more. So I remember the first time I discovered this band, it was like the early 90s and I think it was like MTV's Headbangers Ball. And they had their video for Falling Away and it was very like intriguing for me because they were a thrash metal band, but they also like had like these turntable and they had like the scratches. I thought that was like pretty cool. And it, it was just um, something I liked. So I, I ended up like buying the CD and I still have it. This is like one of those CDs that I like, haven't listened to for years. I ended up listening to it again just to prepare for this. But the name of the CD is called uh, In This Life. It is a pretty cool album. It mixes uh, thrash and funk and they do have like the turntables. But since then, I pretty much com completely like forgot about the band. But it's 2021, they're back with their fourth album and it's called The Dark Parade. So this album does have a similar sound um, to those bands that did, did kind of like mix, uh, almost like a forgotten uh, genre. It's the bands that mix with like comedy and thrash metal. So I'm thinking of bands like Scatterbrains, uh, Here Comes Trouble, or uh, M.O.D. Gross Misconduct. Those are like two of my favorite albums from back in the day. But the vocals are pretty cool. They're kind of unique. It kind of reminds me of the band Tourniquet. I don't know if you know that band, but they're very popular amongst the like Christian metal scene. Um, and um, you probably know the band Faith No More. So there are kind of some elements of that band uh, present here. And um, this is a very unique band. It's kind of hard to describe. So I will try to go through it as I uh, go through the songs. But the album does have eight songs, a runtime of 39 minutes. So let me talk about them. First song was called Demonic Number no. 7 and it starts out with some like Iron Maiden style lead guitar riffing and soloing but that is where the comparison like starts and stops because you know this is just a thrash metal band it's just after the first like couple seconds it's just straightforward thrash metal you do hear those turntable scratches it has the heavy riffs you know the vocals are pretty cool it's a combination of like singing and like rapping style there are lots of lead guitar solos lots of heavy riffs they do have some like sound effects in the background that add some texture as well, so that's pretty cool. Next song is called uh, Malignancy. So <laughs> this song st starts out with a line. Um, it says, this is not for the lighthearted. And it's kind of more of like a bouncy thrash metal track. Almost reminds me of like classic Anthrax mixed with like Faith No More. So in the song, it's more like melodic singing with like the thrash metal vocals. They do have the turntable scratches, the heavy like palm muted riffs. And this is probably one of my favorite songs in the album. It's just one of the most memorable and, you know, the catchiest. Next is I Am Charlie, and this one starts out with some heavy thrash riffs. Uses lots of, like, sound effects. Kind of creates this, like, old-school thrash metal vibe. Um, there are lots of different vocal styles used here. You know, you have the turntable scratches, the samples. It's a nice blending of, like, thrash metal and, like, rap metal. Um, you know, the song is filled with heavy riffs and... Uh, if you like thrash metal or that like old school thrash metal, you probably would like the song. Next is Dragging for Bodies. The song starts out with a simple yet heavy, but it's catchy. Uh, it's a metal riff. Turntable scratches are still present. I really like the use of the keyboards on the song. You know, the keyboards are kind of mixed kind of low, but it does remind me of something that you would hear from like a band like Typo Negative. Kind of adds like a little extra level of like eeriness to the song. I really like the variety in the vocal delivery. The song has lots of heavy, like, thrashy riffs. Really like how the riff and the breakdown goes, like, right into the guitar solo. And this is one of the longer songs at, like, six minutes and nine seconds. Next is The Dark Parade. And this one is, like, a little different than the others. It's a little more experimental. It has a drum intro. And it also sounds like what is, like, a mariachi band. It kind of plays along with, like, those heavy riffs. There are turntable scratches and, and horns present, like, throughout the song. So the song is kind of like some strange type of like fusion of jazz and like thrash metal, but it is pretty cool. They do make it work. There is enough going on to keep it interesting. Lots of shredding solos and tempo changes. You know, the mariachi is present like throughout the song and they do come back in the end to kind of like end out the song. This is also one of the longest songs. Actually, it is the longest song. It's almost seven minutes, but it was, uh, there was enough going on uh, just to keep me engaged throughout the entire song. So I like this one a lot. Next is All Eyes on the Prize. This one starts out with a short like spoken word intro, kind of sets the stage. It's almost like they're introducing some type of like dystopian nightmare or something like that. 
I really like the opening riff to the song. It's very catchy. The vocals are very good. And the song does have like this like early like 90s metal feel. Like the background vocals also give this like a very old school vibe. And I think this would probably be one of my favorites as well. Next is Dented Lives. This is a mid-paced, heavy, melodic, thrash metal song. This one's a little more straightforward, a little more true to like the thrash metal genre. But they still use some cool like sound effects and different keyboard textures just to keep it interesting. And the last song is called Smash Goes the Bottle. And this one is like a little different. It has this like bluesy, almost like ACDC style like riff to open it up. But the song is still heavy, still thrashy, uh, lots of riffs, lots of melodic singing. Has some crunchy riffs, nice background vocals. And I really like the guitar leads uh, that kind of like sprinkled like throughout the song. The turntable scratches are still here. You still got the samples here. I do like the melodic guitar solo on the song. And uh, the bluesy riff like does kind of return like towards the end of the song. And pretty cool way to close out the album. So in conclusion, I, I like this album a lot. I think my only complaint was I think the vocals were mixed a little high at times. But otherwise, it, was like, it wasn't something that really bothered me. It just a comment they're making. But I did like it. My favorite songs are Malignancy and All Eyes and the Prize. And... Those were actually two of the singles. They do have music videos for those two songs, and they are pretty fun, so I recommend you watch them. So if this is a band that, like, if you remember them from back in the day and their previous albums, um, you would definitely like this. It is a return to form. It's old school thrash. They mix keyboards. They mix a little bit of rap and a little bit of funk and a little bit of this and that, and they are a very unique metal band, probably like one of the most like original bands that I have heard in a while. They do uh, capture that classic sound, you know, after all these years. So I give this album an 8 out of 10. The songs are very well written, lots of heavy guitars, there's drums, turntables, samples. So if you like that type of thing, you'll probably like this album. So let me know in the comments section if you've heard this album or any of their other albums. Tomorrow I have my review of the new album by The Descendants. They are a punk band. Monday I will do a review of that horror and death metal band Fulci. So if you're a fan of those old horror movies, uh, you might be interested in that. So stick around, uh, check out the in-video links, I'll put some videos over there, and I'll see you in the next one.